Hey Satch, I hope you are doing well wherever you are in the world. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel. If you are new here, I welcome you. If you are returning, I'm so grateful. Thank you to everybody who has liked, subscribed and anything in between so far. We've got the Situations Love Oracle. So we're going to see what the situation is surrounding you at this time. Please bear in mind, not every message will always resonate, so only take what does. Please do not force any message to fit, as you may find out not every message is for you. Separation, sadness, bitterness, missing you, thinking about you, uncertain future. Some of you, you've definitely gone through some sort of separation or you're in separation from your person at this time. Somebody could be very, very upset about this. This could be the other person I'm getting more so. Talking, interested, awaiting messages, texts, calls, emails, talking more. Somebody definitely wants to come out of some sort of high priestess energy if you're not speaking to somebody. Some of you could be uh, trying to reconcile with somebody who you uh, are in separation with at this time. Twin flame, this definitely could be your twin. Yin and yang, balance, union, duality, complement, polar opposites. This definitely could be a twin flame connection. Don't take it if it's not for you. So at this time, you could be uh, not talking to your twin flame. Girl with a snake, charmed or used, enabled boundaries. Somebody could be with somebody else. Soulmate, soul connection, partnership, soul contract, life partner. Interesting. Healthy choices, self-love, self-care, being happier, love and life. This, this combination keeps coming out. Heartbroken, deeply hurt, sad, feeling lost, grieving and despair. As you work on yourself... As you work on yourself, make better choices. Some of you could be have adapted, adopted, sorry, a new routine or adapted your routine in some way to live a better life. Some of you could be exercising. Some of you could be uh, just making better choices in general over what is around you. Working on yourself. For a lot of you, you're, you're detached from this situation on an emotional plane. And with the heartbroken card, this hurts somebody. You're distant. Somebody's feeling your distance and they want to speak to you about this. This person feels really connected to you. They feel a soul connection to you. They definitely feel like you, that you came together for a purpose in some way, shape or form. There could have been somebody who got involved in this connection. It doesn't necessarily have to be that they had another person or there was another connection or this person cheated. It could well be. This could be somebody in their family. This could be a friend. This could be somebody who came between this connection. But I'm definitely seeing interference here in this spread. The golden mirror. Narcissist, love bombing, self-absorbed, one-sided. This could have been an energy of somebody being one-sided with you. Somebody could have love bombed you. Somebody could have not taken the connection seriously. And that could have been the demise of the connection due to somebody's ways towards you here. But now I feel like your twin, your person is feeling you pull away they're feeling you making some sort of definitive decisions about your life making healthy choices and this is causing to them them causing them to feel your loss to feel heartbroken and feeling the separation somebody's definitely feeling the separation nine of wands person is feeling worn down in some way Clarify separation, please. Five of Wands. There could have been a lot of arguing between you and this person. This per this uh, connection, Emperor, could be a father figure. It doesn't have to be. Boss figure. Somebody of authority. Somebody that you have children with, possibly. There was definitely some sort of blow up. There could have been a, an argument. There could have been an argument that caused the separation. Throat chakra. <coughs> 
there could have been something to do with communication here. Somebody could have been very fiery with their words. There could have been a lost blow up between you and a person which caused a separation here. Crone of Swords, yeah, somebody was very uh, cold with their words. Somebody could have said quite uh, truthful but hurtful things. This could be you. You could have inflicted this ending, Six of Swords, and you moved away, possibly to explore your options, or this person moved away from you to explore options, possibly invest in uh, going elsewhere or putting energy into something else. What is this talking card? Three of Wands. Somebody could be waiting to hear from you. You could have had a message from this person and you didn't reply or something like that. And this person's waiting for your response on something here. This person is definitely missing the connection. Five of Swords. There was a lot of petty energy, a lot of games being played in this situation. This could have been the cause of this uh, demise of the relationship. There was also a lot of love here, though. I get a sense that it got, I just get a sense of uh, it being misconstrued. I just get a sense of a lot of misunderstandings, other petty little things that are, that came into the situation that possibly uh, caused some sort of demise in a relationship where there was actually a lot of love here. People saying things, people saying things to get back at each other. This person could have said something to get back at you or to make you jealous or to cause a reaction. This could have been the reason why you've walked away from them. But this person is waiting to hear from you now, whether you know it or not. Three of Pentacles. In order to work together and collaborate to fix something. Ten of Swords. Because this caused a lot of pain between the two of you. Whatever this communication or blow up was with the Eight of Wands. This definitely could have caused some sort of uh, painful situation between the two of you. Clarify Twin Flame. Sagittarius, Twin Flame, clarify. Nine of Swords. This person's in anxiety over you. Possibly sleepless nights and a lot of regret. Wow. A lot of regret. Five of Cups. Nine of Swords. A lot of anxiety. This person's very stressed out at this time. Who's this girl with the snake? Who's this girl with the snake? The Sagittarius. Seven of Wands. Crown of Cups. Could have been a water sign. Could have been a water sign. This could have been somebody who caused your partner to close off from you. Somebody who caused there to be some sort of block between the two of you. This person was definitely blocking something from coming together. This definitely could be a Scorpio. Eight of Swords, yeah. They wanted to cause a stuck energy. They wanted your person to possibly be unsure about you with the Two of Pentacles and be up in their head about offering you something or staying with you. This was definitely a person who wanted to cause some sort of block of love, some sort of uh, block. So emotions couldn't be flowing. They interfered in the connection here. This was a person who did not have the right intentions in relation to you and your person. Who was this girl with a snake? Six of Wands. The Tower. They caused the blow up here. This person could have been seeking attention of your person or getting some sort of... Uh, I get a sense of them, them having a lot of uh, insecurity or needing a lot of attention or needing some sort of validation. This is the type of person who is not content if they are not seen, who is not content if... You know, whatever it is doesn't involve them. This could be anybody. This could be a fire sign, a water sign, a family member, a friend. But this is a person who seeks attention. Wow. 
yeah they caused an ending of a real divine love justice this person will be getting their justice so don't you worry about that whatever uh interference that they came with in this connection here this is going to be brought to justice for some of you this person's going through karma at this time what is happening with this person a lot of cards now the instability that they caused you knight of swords they're frustrated in their energy now and the reason why that is is because whatever they were doing behind the veil of the moon whatever was hidden whatever interference manipulation that this person could have been doing to possibly bind somebody but we're not gonna get too heavy into that to keep somebody stuck or unsure it came out again this is what they've manifested for themselves instability anxious feeling stuck stagnant energy here this you might not even know about this with this moon card it could be a pisces got water energy here endings for them what we need to realize is when we try to sabotage other people or move in an energy of not being uh not coming with the best intentions it does come back in ways that sometimes we don't even realise. Karma has a funny way of making you sit down. And I'm sorry if this person was being shady behind the scenes or stopped a connection from moving forward. And this is a divine connection that they came between. This is no joke. Somebody comes between a divine connection. The universe has... sits them down in various ways. This person will not get, get away scot-free. This person has possibly invested a lot in this connection with you here. This your person. Nine of Cups. They actually see you as wish fulfillment here. Two of Cups. Judgment. Yeah, they possibly want to come together with you now after some sort of interference. This person definitely wants to reach out for you to you but i feel like they may be feeling like it's too late almost like they're wondering whether you've moved on now from them four of wands yeah they could feel like you're in another relationship six of cups they could feel like you've had some sort of breakthrough from the past they could feel like you've gone back to something in your past here and it's causing you to have a lot of balance, a lot of stability here. For some of you, they could know that you're in another connection or you're giving to somebody else with the six of pentacles here. They could definitely know that you've ended something with them and gone towards something else, possibly to work on something from your past. With the justice card, this is your justice. I'm telling you, justice will be served in a situation here the star knight of pentacles and the thing is they see you as somebody who's very loyal this is a person who sees that your value they see your value crone of wands this person is heavily attracted to you with the king of wands type of energy very attracted to you they find you to be very charismatic they know that you are loyal they know that with that star energy you are a wish you will be a wish of somebody else's they could be watching you get closer to an air sign or a uh, earth sign here, Aquarian energy, Libra. They're definitely watching you. At the very least, they could have seen you out with somebody. You could have been to a party or something of that such. I'm getting party energy because those two people are dancing. It looks like a party scene. Some They could have seen you out somewhere uh, talking to somebody in your past. And they know that you're a yeah, queen of cups. They know that you're very, very loyal. They know that you're very compassionate. And because somebody else has in, interfered in a connection, they're actually missing that. They're missing that love. They're missing that compassion. Five of Cups. Regret over the fact that you poured a lot into this person. Three of Cups coming together. The Hierophant after a breakup in a relationship. This person definitely wants to speak to you. Page of Wands is there. For some of you, you've got children with this person, but doesn't have to be. Could be a fire sign or a water sign. But after some sort of disconnect or some sort of interruption in a higher level of commitment, a union, they want to take a leap of faith and come towards you. With the Empress, Empress card to balance something it could be a sagittarius could be a taurus aries we've got a lot of signs here uh where are we okay let's see what's next what will you choose to do in fact i'm going to draw for the tarot 
to just see some of you could take this person back i see that for a lot of you you're involved with an earth sign possibly what will sagittarius choose to do four of wands came out twice nine of wands for some of you you will continue to move forward and you won't go back to the past you possibly see the past as something that you've had to overcome you're possibly very guarded towards this person now due to things of the past with all those ones there nine of ones we've got the seven of ones very guarded and you've got a new start i'm telling you with the four of ones that's come out twice a lot of you will choose to, to go towards the new some sort of new relationship for some of you this is marriage home commitment here what will you choose to do yeah you don't trust this person you don't trust this person three of wands yeah you're looking for the new for a lot of you you definitely want to be in a union or you're not sing. you're not single this could be something you're keeping to yourself with the high priestess you could be being a bit secretive with your connection at this time or very protective over your connection but you've definitely moved ahead here you're not single whoever i'm speaking to you're either involved with somebody or you will be very soon you're not in an independent energy possibly very self-sufficient but you're not in an independent energy what did i say the moon you're keeping something hidden the devil because you don't want outside influences attachments to interfere in what you've got going on because you possibly feel a fear yeah whatever you've got is a new start for some of you it's a very passionate connection very sexually attracted to whoever this is very connected here king of swords somebody who's very logical could be a boss figure moving forward with a new person from any games any head games from any instability that somebody tried to cause i feel like you're being very very secretive with your connection with that high priestess energy and the moon here a lot of people could not even know that you're in a new connection here and i feel like it, you've learned from the past whoever got in, involved in your connection or was meddling here there's a meddling energy for some of you it could be a mother figure this could be a sister a family member a friend it could be anybody but i feel like this is a person in this person's camp that was meddling even a third party that they got involved with that they had some sort of connection with you've learned from the past that protecting your relationship is going to be the best thing for you and a lot of you could be moving in silence at this time and i feel like you're being advised to do that because you've got a lot of good things to come so many things remind me of you I'm afraid to contact you. This person definitely wants to speak to you. They're definitely missing you. Finding out the truth crushed, crushed me. What did I tell you? They could know that you're in another connection. They could have found out or seen you somewhere. I hid who, who I really am for you, from you. person could have kept a lot of secrets. My life is not as together as it seems. I am becoming a better person. I left when I saw you with somebody. This person has seen you out and about somewhere. Or they've seen something. And it's causing them to have some sort of growth in their life. With the twin flame journey, when you introspect and you work on yourself, it pushes your twin to do the same. So even if you guys do not come back together or you've chosen to distance yourself from this or not go back into this, there's a certain amount of elevation that will come from doing this. And I'm telling you, people will get their justice. Whoever meddled in this connection, divine union, union that was meant to come together to fulfill a purpose, justice will be served, okay? So just keep moving forward. I see a lot of celebrative energy. For some of you, it's a new home. For some of you, it's a partnership. There's a lot of good energy, a lot of good energy here I'm seeing past life soulmate energy because we do have that six of cups also for some of you you could have reconnected with somebody of your past that's not this person and you're very happy able to love and this is your justice queen of cups energy justice card could be a libra scorpio sagittarius that is what i have for you please like share and subscribe to the channel it is greatly appreciated but until next time i will see you soon bye